Hey guys, it's Jason again, your favorite YouTube realtor. Today, we are in Aventura within the community of Island Estates, and we're gonna be looking at this five bedroom, five and a half bathroom, 9,200 square feet, asking $6.35 million. You have a true three car garage, and we're right next to where the gate led in. So you got the access and security, and even access down to your pool area. Coming up to the property, look how grand and, and high these ceilings are, these pillars, it just feels really luxurious. And uh, when you come in, you're gonna notice the height of these ceilings continues on the inside, as you'll tell by the uh, 40 foot high ceilings in here. So you come up, try to not break your neck when you're looking all the way up there. 40 feet high, look at that. It doesn't stop, it goes on forever. Um, so this is like your little entry table when you walk in. Right over here, this is not a bedroom, this is just the office of the property, so when you come in, Got the perfect setup for a work at home office, even a door to let access straight into the, you know, the front yard if you just wanna go out there and just take a quick and deep breath. But either way, you got tons of sitting space, entertaining on the wall, and all this beautiful art, unfortunately, isn't included, but visually speaking, it's gonna be very appealing throughout the whole tour. Coming out of here, gonna make our way down these couple steps, and uh, it's gonna take us down to, this is where the heart of the home is. You come in, you got the formal living room, and then you have the dining room, formal dining. Really quick, just wanna point out, cool feature to have in here. Got a pinball machine. I don't know, I don't think I've ever seen a pinball machine in real life. Normally it's just like the one on the computer back in the 90s, but it's pretty cool to see this in person. The art everywhere, again, is amazing. And one feature I really like in here, that 600 gallon fish tank that comes from one side of the room and goes straight to the other side of the room. So if you fill that up, put your exotic pets in there, it's gonna be a staple of the property that everyone talks about. The light fixture is coming down, raining, blessing the table, really quick, blessing this, and then it just completely flows into this side of the property. As we come in, one feature about the entertaining system that I like is usually with these kind of homes, the entertainment systems are so big and gaudy and they take up space. Just look at the detail. First, the reflective wood finish, and then it just looks like the TV is almost levitating in the center over here. And it's the same finish that you have on the 600 gallon tank, which just makes the whole room flow and work and the color scheme matches all the finishes in the property. And then from this, it just kind of flows straight into the kitchen and the dining room actually connects from there and they meet together into the kitchen. And once again, you have that reflective wood finish that you saw on the entertaining system on the island. And how about this white paneled dual fridge, Sub-Zero, and in between the dual fridges, Mila coffee machine and a TV, a little TV here. Great place to put on Jason Matuk's luxury horn. A great place to put on Jason Matuk's luxury home tour videos, as every TV should have that on anyway. I just like these, these little snow globe, little light fixtures that come down from the ceiling and then it takes us to our top of the line Thermador gas range stove with the double ovens below and even this little silhouette of the lights above in the vent. It's just very artistic. I mean, that's literally what you would put on you have like a prized piece of art, but they just have it reflecting on the cabinets, nice like drop shadow, and just to make things even cooler, you got a little iPod from the, uh, the early 2000s with an iHome. A lot of these kids watching the show don't even know what iHome is. And then when you get your food ready and everything's prepared, you can easily just come down to this less formal sitting area to eat, hang out, enjoy the views of outside, and you have kind of like access to the cabana bath right over here. It's got a full shower, toilet, and sink and everything, so really great. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the outdoor pool area for last because we can actually access it from the second story. And there's a few secrets outside that I want to save for the end. So just, if you want to see it, you can either skip through the video, which I don't recommend, or you can just stay tuned. But let's go this way as we make our way down to the other side. If I'm coming this way, this is like a little butler's pantry and then your huge walk-in pantry that goes all the way down the length all here. So got a great, Great amount of space in here. I'm seeing a lot of treats that I like. And uh, from here, we're gonna make our way back across the living room and upstairs. And this is where, oh wait, I'm sorry, I lied to you. I severely lied to you. I acted like that was all we had to see down here. Nope, big, big, big false thing, big false statement. You gotta make it this way before the stairwell and then the property continues down. So my left, you have your first guest suite. First official guest suite. 
Now the room itself is a good size. And then just to make the room feel even bigger, just pan up, just look at that. The size of these ceilings goes all the way up. So the room is actually, it feels twice the size that it actually is. And it's already pretty big. And then you have the full ensuite on that side. Coming out of here. Got a few uh, little treats right here. This is just storage under the stairs. Everyone needs storage, why not? But how about this? You got, you got your elevator, nice. Take you up to the second story if you got some weak knees or you just did a leg day at the gym and uh, you're a little sore, listen. Got you covered, got the elevator. Comes a little bit further down. Laundry room, you've seen a washer and dryer. I don't need to waste your time. But this, I would like to show you. Here we have the garage, the three car garage that we saw earlier. And the cool thing about this garage is that the height of the ceilings in here are tall enough that we can put, if you had a car lift, you can put a car under another car and that way you can actually have six cars in here. And that's kind of what you can do. You put the garage door opener on that railing, put them on the separate railings and then you have the space to do like the car lift on each side. So I thought that was pretty cool. But now let's officially head upstairs and take a look at uh, all the treats up there. Now that you've seen the first floor of this house, listen, I know you're impressed. Well, get ready, because you're about to be more impressed as I head to the second story of this home. So as I come up to the, the top floor, welcome. Get ready to set phasers on fun. <laughs> In the center, so you have this huge chandelier. Obviously, if you'd like to replace this with your family heirloom chandelier, it's a great spot and it can definitely hold the biggest of big chandeliers, 40 feet to the floor. If you got a bigger chandelier than that, then uh, get real. Anyway, here's our first guest suite upstairs. It's got it all. It's got the walk-in closet, whole bed suite, and then it actually has a bathroom that Jack and Jill's to the next bedroom, but I'm gonna leave that bedroom for later on. Down here is where the master suite is. I wanna save that for last, for, all, for specific reasons. But when we come this way, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features about this house. You can just tell from the door handle that this is about to be a special room. So my first impression, vault or entertainment, and it's not a vault. So that's all I'm gonna say. So when we come in, let me paint a picture for you really quick. Wait, before we go in. It's a Friday night, kids are all home from school. Your favorite movie, you've just rented it. Everyone has no plans and the only plan they have is to come here and watch a movie with the family. Now let's go in. So here's the order of operations, right? You come in, got your snack station. The popcorn is so hot that you touch it, skin burns. Sink, refreshments, everything, get your tickets. This is where you get the fake ticket stub and then it takes you in through the curtains. Wow. Into your home movie theater, right? Now, the leader, the, the captain of this team is gonna sit right here. And this is where the whole property is controlled. The whole cinema is controlled. All right, so everyone sit down. Everyone's had all their refreshments ready. It's time. So you're gonna start by closing the door over there. Now it's time to open the, the theater. Actually, before the, the, the curtain opens, the lights go off. So let's do lights. So now we're gonna do Actually, I don't want to make it too dark, so let's let's just leave it like that. So now we got the lights ready. Now, if you'll just face over to the screen, we're going to go back, and now we're going to look at the screen to open. As the screen opens up, it's literally just like being in a movie theater. It comes up, your favorite movie's on, and just take a look. I know you're in heaven. The kids are yelling. Everyone's having a great time. They're never going to leave. Once you get your movie playing, everyone's done. It's time to go. We're going to go ahead, open the door. Hope everyone had a good time. Enjoy the movie. It's time to head back to reality. So you come in, come in here. Close this door. And now we're back on the tour. I almost forgot that we were filming this video. So as you come down, this is where the uh, elevator is going to take you up. So it takes you right into the guest bedrooms. And then as we make our way down, more storage. This is a, another guest bedroom, full bathroom, and then it leads into a game room. So if the movie theater wasn't entertainment enough, you have a full game room over here. Look at this. You got the seating, the treadmill, pool table, entertainment, 
insane. And on top of that, to finalize how cool this room is, a front porch where you can come, hang out, probably leave these doors open and just chill with your friends, have a good time, have a couple of drinks. It really just pieces the whole room together. And then as we come back in, let's go back down and show you the last main piece of this house as I come further down. It's gonna take us towards the master bedroom. So coming down, here we have the bedroom that Jack and Jill with that first guest bedroom that we saw in the second story. And now we're gonna make our way into the master suite. So when you come in, this place is huge. Take a look at the walk-in closet, the size of this thing. All the space, this is enough space. I don't wanna hear anything else. It's massive, it's got all the storage on both sides, the shoe rack, the island in the middle, and that light fixture in the center. It's just, it's got it all. And coming into the main suite over here, you have the master bathroom. And as you come in, take a look. You got the, uh, the amazing entrance. Wow, look at this. You got your toilet facilities on each side, the separated sinks, but the one feature I wanna point out in here that's really something else is the walk-in shower. So this shower, you can, you can actually come in here, look at this. Look how far down, stay right here and watch me go down. The, this is all the walk-in shower. It's got windows going across so you can get some natural light in here. And uh, if you want a shower that you could throw a party in, this is it. This is literally it. So I think I found it for you. That TV up there crazy. Yep. It's insane. Coming out of here, we're gonna take a look at the main bedroom area. And besides that, I mean, all the space you have here just like for sitting and hanging out and it's just got it all. You, definitely not a room that you'll feel claustrophobic in ever. The art on the walls, bed just silhouettes, beautifully entertaining system, and then the master balcony. So when we come out onto here, check it out, check it out. This is your private sanctuary. This is where you come out in the morning, Take a deep breath of that Miami air and just enjoy living in South Florida. While the rest of the country is freezing cold, I feel for them. But at the same time, I don't feel for them because I'm steaming hot. And then from here, we're gonna make our way down this secret little staircase. And we're gonna go and take a look at the outdoor backyard area. Now that we're downstairs on the first floor again in the backyard, Let's just get right into it. The table here, this is meant for a huge family gathering. In the covered space, you get to dine outside in peace and quiet. The cool thing is the owners of this place really like their privacy and you can tell because everything is covered. No neighbors can really see you. Just leads into a sitting area. And then over here, we have the outdoor summer's kitchen. It's got the huge grill, all the facilities you're gonna need over here. And then it just, aims at your waterfall pool area. The cool thing about out here is that the water just f looks like it's spilling onto your faux grass. And this is honestly like one of the best places that you could probably tan in South Florida. You got the edge of the property that just looks like you fall out and it goes straight into the water, which it does, that's so cool. It's on stilts. It literally, st it's on like stilts to hold this place up. So we got kind of a California theme going on over here. But looking back on this house, you can just tell what kind of a massive estate it is. And then everything that it's facing is just out into the water, which is incredible. Another cool feature to mention, when I stand over here, that dock over there that you see, that's your dock. This property does come with its own dock and it can hold up to a 60 foot boat. Now, while we're here, I would like to just say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you'd like to see more tours just like the one you saw today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, well, I don't know. There's not much more I can ask. That's all I really want is just a subscribe button. Just hit it and I'll feel good. All right. Thank you. <laughs>